One of the most popular questions without a doubt is which class does the most damage? Because there's not that much information widely known about Cataclysm, because let's be fair, Wrath of the Lich King private servers were pumping all the time. I feel like Wrath of the Lich King was far more of a solved game than Cataclysm is. Don't get me wrong, I know there's been years and years of private servers and there'll be tons of information out there. I just don't think it's as reliable as some of the Wrath of the Lich King information was. So rather than me just sitting here and going, Going, yeah, I think Warrior is the best DPS. I want to try and show you something that I think is quite useful. Now, while it's no Warcraft logs, so we can't really dig too much into the information, it will give you a really good idea on what sort of damage each of these classes are doing inside raids. And this is all raids from Blackwing Descent all the way to Dragon Soul. Now, this is actually logs from one of those servers that I shouldn't talk about, but uh, I'm not really talking about the server per se, more just their data because the data is really interesting. And we can see everything from general statistics, dungeon logs, all the way to raid logs, which is what we're interested in. So if we was to look at something like Blackwing Descent and let's pick a nice easy standstill boss like Chimeron. Now Chimeron's got a few little bits where you need to stack and you need to spread, but ultimately it's quite a patchwork-esque style of fight. Now what this shows is there's been 880 kills recently with the average fight duration of being 345. Fastest kill time was 1 minute 14 which is bonkers but probably 10 man normal and then some other information that we're not too interested in like what guild did it. But what we could do is look at like a random 10 man heroic kill preferably by a random group not a guild group and you can see the sort of damage that each of the classes are doing what their item level is etc so at the top here we've got an orc shaman 400 eye level so really high item level we're talking dragon soul gear with dragon's wrath as well that was doing 37.2k dps now whilst that's useful that we can actually look through and see who's doing what with what gear they've got obviously we don't know the player skill that's going on here so it's better to look at some averages now the thing that skews these a little bit is the fact that when you look at some of these hybrid classes and it shows you the median damage this is also taking into consideration healers because every healer in cataclysm will be doing some form of damage but if you look at the maximum that kind of gives you an idea on what the potential damage the class can actually do is so if we're looking at 10 man normal chimeron you've got death knights topping out at 26k hunters topping out also at 26k 32k from warriors 29k from shamans 29k from mages 26k from priests 25k from paladins 32k from warlocks 27k from rogues and 25k from druids now of course without having tons more information around this it is just me telling you some numbers but it does give you a good overview because now you can look at 25 man normal and see what the difference is there you can look at 10 man heroic and 25 man heroic and get a good idea of what the difference is there as well but personally what i actually prefer to do is have a look at a specific raid. So let's say we look at Bastion of Twilight. Pick a boss like Halfus, for example, which is a very heavy AoE fight, by the way, where mages will absolutely dominate. And then have a look through some logs and just see what we're working with. So if we were to go for some 10-man heroic, we can see these guys are actually in sort of relevant item level for the content that they're doing, in fact because 356 eye level is not even phase one raid bis. You know, as you can see, there's even blue gear that's being used here. Some BOEs that have been bought off the auction house, engineering head, dark moon card volcano, a blue trinket. So these guys are clearly in the sort of gear that you would actually expect in phase one cataclysm classic and you can see the sort of damage they're doing so on halfus in particular like i say a mage will absolutely dominate on halfus because they can get a good combustion and spread it to everything and there's literally 50 60 mobs that is going to hit but then you've got a warlock on 50k a hunter on 42k a orc warrior on 30k goblin dk on 25 tauren paladin on 22 and then obviously poor rogue on 14k but when you then start looking at these on a boss by boss basis using a group that are actually in the sort of item level that you would expect you can get a much better understanding of what classes potential is you know what they can potentially be doing in cataclysm more than me putting a dps tier list together which honestly means nothing now i'm not really going to go into much more here because i just more or less wanted to highlight this resource for you so i'll put a link to it in the description so you can go through and have a look at any logs that you want to look through and see what your class is doing see what your class is doing in 25 man versus 10 man but again you want to always look for groups that are around the 360 eye level mark because you know you're talking free raid bis slash 
sort of normal raid gear bis will be like 359. 359 is the level of gear that you're going to get from normal raids, level of gear you're going to get from crafted epics and even archaeology. So when you're looking at like 400 eye level, that's Dragon Soul. When you're looking at 372 plus, that's like heroic first tier. So heroic, Bastion of Twilight, Blackwing Descent and probably they're using some Firelands gear as well. So always try and look at people that are actually around the eye level that you're going to expect to be in. But I honestly just found this super useful for actually getting an idea on what different tiered geared players are actually doing, especially when you're looking at the same people. So going back and looking at what the same people was doing in Firelands, what they was doing in Bastion of Twilight, to get a good idea of ultimately like can they play or can't they play and how much of a difference the gear is making they have got dungeon logs on here as well but it looks like it's only for zolgarab and zolaman and you're probably not that bothered about what your class is doing in dungeons but if you want to go and have a look why not so I appreciate this is a bit of a weird video and I've not really gave you that much information, but there's so much information on there that it's better that you just go and have a look through yourself, look through loads of logs, look at what the classes are using and what, what specs they are and yeah, what DPS they're doing. I would say this is like the closest thing to a good resource of what sort of damage to expect in raids that's available at the moment. You could try and look historically for screenshots of damage meters and stuff like that, but you know, this is updated daily. These are actual raids that are happening, you know, right now. One of these raids is probably happening now, by the time the video goes out, you might be able to go and look at a log of it. So yeah, I hope you found it at least remotely useful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, check out the Rested XP link in the description in the pinned comment. It is an affiliate link. So obviously it does go towards supporting the channel for every guide you buy for Cataclysm. And I'll see you on the next one.